and a very good welcome to you. In this video, we should be looking at how to kind of like resolve another Windows update error, or it basically freezes. As this cumulative update keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger, how it works is generally basically it downloads only the parts that is needed from this 400 megabyte and probably getting bigger each time file so you will find that your downloading over here may freeze at 40 percent 30 percent 20 percent whatever you know right now it's just on this that's not an issue okay i'm just bringing the screen up to show you if it does freeze and you see it there for a very long time. What's actually happening is your computer is behind the scenes trying to kind of like look through every single file of its own and then kind of like work out what is needed from this one big file. Okay. Now, if it does get stuck, okay, and it can get stuck as we had on one machine, my suggestion is you actually do the first step, which is basically, okay, stop the update okay and go to services okay but how did you get there basically by typing in here services okay We're running a little bit slow because we have a few other machines in the background okay so basically anyway services you type over there and then that you click on that and you open it up and then that brings up this Windows. Scroll down and you'll see Windows Update. Basically, click on that. Okay. And then Properties. And then Stop it. And then maybe even Disable it. Okay. The fuller explanation of how this entire system works, where you then need to stop it and delete it, we've done it in a previous video. Okay. Um, please look at that. And the link should be somewhere over here in the video you'll have the video either linked over here or in the description you may need to restart the computer and then delete every single file over here okay that is step one okay i'll assume you've done that okay you've deleted all the files okay now you need to open up windows sorry internet explorer okay microsoft internet explorer okay now what it is, this cumulative update is called KB3189866. If you see something else on your screen that is causing you an issue, okay, and that's taking a long time to download, for example, you type in that KB318 or whatever the number is that's on the update screen. Okay, what you now need to do is do a search for it and be careful, okay, you can find lots of other kind of like websites, you don't really want to go through there. You basically want to go to the Microsoft website, okay? So this is from Microsoft. And the main thing is we're actually going to the Microsoft online internet-based updating service where you can actually download packs. One of our videos in the past has covered how to do this, okay? But basically, we've done the search and it's brought us to this page. We scroll down, okay? and look for Microsoft Update Catalog, okay, click on that. That brings us to this. It will ask you to add an add-on. Make sure you do that. And this thing only works in Internet Explorer. It may ask for you, you to give admin privileges. That's fine. And it'll take a little bit of time to kind of like get set up. Okay, now, because we came through the direct route, okay, it's already got that in the search 31898866. Choose the one you're using. If you're using a 64-bit machine, fine. If you're using the server version, fine. If you're using, shall we say, the 32-bit version, you download this. Okay, you just click Add, like a shopping cart, okay, and then go to View Basket. and then click download that'll open up a separate window and then you can choose where you want to download it to again it'll ask you for permission 
and then basically you can choose either to the desktop or your download folder you know it's entirely up to you where you want to save it okay once you've saved it there okay click continue and then it'll take time to download right when it has finished you'll get the screen you can just close this off okay close down internet explorer you don't really need that just go to the location where you actually save the file in our case we did it to downloads just click on that and you will see an installation file just double click on that and we'll basically do the preparing the installation and it will then check your system and then complete the insta installation will show you over here we'll also show you the potential of where it could break where it could stop and the solution will also explain in our case it's going through fine if it came up with an error saying can't be done okay the main reason is very simply because you have actually not cleaned out that updates folder okay before actually running this cumulative update okay so where it is as in the previous video it's basically software distribution in Windows C Windows software distribution download and you must have cleared out all these files. This is not a problem clearing them out. What this will do, it'll restore a few of them, okay? And then your system, you can happily restart, okay? Right, so when it finishes installing, okay? Which can take some time, okay? But at least it'll progress and it will complete. Then you will need to restart your computer. Okay, after the update and the restart, okay we go to the windows update windows in windows settings and you'd probably see something like this okay fail to install or install now something like that okay click now and basically it will install anything that needs to be installed that's already downloaded previously or if it came up with um, failed to install, just click on it. It'll scan it and then install and everything will be back to normal. Okay, so hopefully this helps and thank you for watching.